morning. It is Wednesday, the 8th of January, 10.08 a.m., 80 degrees in Grand Cayman. However, it is extremely windy. So, we do get to tender into port, but our excursion was canceled. We had the Stingray excursion planned for today. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of bummed about that, but that's okay. We're going to spend the day at, in port at Royal Palms Beach Club. Yeah, with our friends. So at least we'll get to experience the beach today. Maybe it'll be a little warmer than yesterday. That would be appreciated. It was quite chilly yesterday. So, and there's nothing like the beaches at Grand Cayman. They are absolutely beautiful. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so now you can kind of get an idea of what happens when your excursions are canceled last minute. Um, the government here cut, shut down the um sandbars so they the government here is preventing the tourists from going now i've not heard anything about the norwegian excursions we did have a private excursion planned thanks to our friend carl he booked everything for us so we will have to see what happens there so i always um, have a backup plan so if something's yeah. canceled you go if it's canceled hey let's do this right exactly all right we're headed down to the tinder boat which is on deck four. We made a reservation, but they arrived to port early, so they began taking tenders early. So we're gonna just hop on. We were uh, A, tender A, but um, this would have been our actual tender time now. So we're headed down and we'll just hop on the next tender boat. Hey, right this way, join the line. Take your time, but hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right, gotta turn off the camera. We are on the tender boat. I'm sorry my camera jammed up. You take the stairs up or down, but um, in a wheelchair, there is a spot for you up on the top. standing here because there's sunshine so I'm so excited okay so our last tender is at 4 p.m. 5 p.m. last tender is 5 p.m. okay so we're gonna get a taxi to go down to Royal Palms it's about a 40 minute walk so eight minute drive we figured we'd ride let me get to a picture here. There we go. So there's your taxi rates. Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. There we go. We're all snuggled in and ready for our uh, drive. All right. We are at Royal Palms Beach Club. That was our ride today. And it was $5 per person to take a taxi down here. To get in here is $2 per person. All right, they inspect your bag and make sure you did not bring any food or drink in. The line was no problem. We get a table, a table up here. There's that beautiful beach. Okay, so to rent the cabanas right here are $350 per day and then farther down they're a hundred and fifty dollars per day they're that there direction yeah there's ten down that way and four here pardon me so those are lovely we just need the beach today okay he said just to find a chair and they'll come up to us but since we're the third boat in today we probably won't get one okay we're gonna find a chair we'll be right back we have a very nice couple that allowed us to leave our bags in their cabana area because there is not a single open spot. Now, our ship was the fourth ship, third or fourth third, ship? Third. third. Third ship in this morning. So that's why it's so busy here. I would imagine ordinarily it's not, you know, you come in, you get your spot, you settle. But we are very late coming in, so all the spots have been taken. But that's okay. We're still going to have a fantastic day. It's chilly, but we're going in. The sun is out. 
That will help. And I don't have water shoes on. Normally I would have water shoes on, but the sand here is so soft. You don't need them. <laughs> you want your water shoes? Ow! I lied about the water shoes. Totally lied. You want me to go get your water shoes? No, it'll be okay, I think. Why is it so hard here? Here we go, drop off right here. Drop off, there you oh, go. Then it goes to a nice bottom. very rocky. Yeah, you can go grab no, no. them. Wait, take two more steps, Rob. Sandy bottom. Oh, okay. Take two more steps. It's, oh, yeah. It's just because the Drop waves were breaking. Yeah, it's, it's fine just, now. It's just the short step. Yeah. Hard. Just that one spot was a little <laughs> here rocky. Comes, here comes that. Ah! Here comes that moment of two. Yeah. Burr. Here we go. Big waves. We've never been to Grand Canyon when it's been this wavy. Well, maybe yeah. we have, but not out in the water like this. Why everyone's within like 10 feet of the beach. Yeah. It drops off and gets a little deep. Yeah. There are the ships over there. There are a lot of, whoo, a lot of people. There are three large ships in port. Oh, I'm being taken out. Into the depths of the ocean. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that coming at me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these waves are big. Oh, rocks. Do you want me to go get your water shoes? Yeah, we probably need them. Carl, we're going to go get our water shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I will wait right here for you. Yes, it is. Still Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. And uh, it's still wavy, but the waves feel like they're almost settling down a little bit. I mean, you get a big one every now and then, but it feels like they're kind of relaxing a little, if you will. <laughs> anyway, but it is amazing. It's beautiful. It's Grand Canyon. And um, if we had been the first ship, or even with the first Ooh. two ships in port, and been able to get here about when everybody else did, it wouldn't, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, we would have a spot. You know what I'm saying? So we will stand here. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna head down the beach a little bit. Just take a little walk down the beach, kind of see what we see. Maybe the different resorts and different locations that we can check out. So there's a closer look at the cabanas. Well, not closer, but a look at the cabanas. It's a giant bed thing. So that's nice. <laughs> Carl just said he's naming this spot Dead Tree Point. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the sovereign residence. That, so these are condos. Wow, it's a beautiful condo. Here's the deal, Seven Mile Beach is completely public. So you can look for the brown signs where it says public access or public beach and you just walk right through and you have access to the whole beach. Now there, you know, you can see there's certain signage that keeps you from going up into the private property but you can just walk and come to the beach for free. Much quieter down here, far less people. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Paddle boards out there. I mean, look at this, there's no one here. So you could just take a taxi to this location find the public access point, zip on through, and look, you have this beach to yourself. A Throw down a towel, that's right. Of course you don't have bathroom facilities, you don't have food, you don't have drink, but if you're just looking for a nice, relaxing beach day, here you go. This is the stuff the other vloggers don't show you. That's they just right. show you the main spots. 
That's right, we show you the hidden gems. <laughs> so even though our excursion was canceled today, I think this is pretty fantastic. I mean, this beautiful beach basically to ourselves, can't complain about that. As of this visit, this is really the best spot we have seen and found. The waves are kind of blocked from coming in over there from the uh, inlet or the peninsula, the point over there. So it kind of keeps it a little calmer. Even with this wind, there's no sharp drop off. There's no rocks, nice sandy bottom. Right here in front of the, the Ritz Carlton, okay. Cayman Island Port Authority, something, Harbor Patrol. Okay, Governor's Beach, yes. Wow. All right, and just down there, we believe, is Calico Jacks. To save a little bit of memory card, I'm going to turn off my camera, and then I'll turn it back on once we get down there. So we'll be right there. It's almost there. This is where we came for the seaside. I will pop an iCard up for you on that. Uh, this is the beach we were visiting in January, about this time, two years ago, was an excursion on the MSC Seaside. There are lots of rocks in this water. Whoa! Coming in! Oh, there must have been an accident. I think somebody had an accident. That stinks. There we go. The ships are down there. And lots and lots of taxis and buses here to take you back. All right, so we're going to hop on this taxi bus to get us back to the port. We're going to hop back onto the ship and uh, take the taxi back and get back on the ship. The bus drops you off in this parking lot area. You do need to just come through, take a right to get to our little section over there where our tender is. There was a nice refreshment at the gate for us. That was really nice. Look at that water. That is just unbelievable. And you can see now that it's calm, it's just crystal clear.
Okay, we're back on the ship, back on the ship, back in our cabin, Rob's in the shower. I'm gonna shower next, and um, I'm gonna set up the camera for sail away and all of that, and then we have dinner at Cagney's. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything in between now and then, but we will take you with us if we do. All right, I'll be right back. At this time, so you thank you for your attention. Parker. <laughs> they are looking for someone. <laughs> They've called a couple of times, so there must be a couple of guests missed, guest missing, not back yet. And the last tender was 20 minutes ago, so we will see. They're still out there. I've got the camera running, but um, anyway. No peer runners in Grand Canyon? No peer runners, that is correct. You better catch that tender. But, um, you know, we had a couple of late guests yesterday. But we are headed to dinner in Cagney's. I'm very excited because I'm hungry. I ate a massive breakfast to carry me through the whole day. <laughs> yeah, that was the reason. And now I get to go have a great big dinner because I skipped lunch. I always forget where the restaurants are. Anyway, so I hope the guests are on board and they just missed scanning the card. Sometimes that's the case. You do not have to dress up for Cagney's. You don't have to dress up for any of the restaurants. But I wanted to wear a dress tonight, so it is. All right, here we are, Moderno and Cagney's, but we are at Cagney's this evening. Mm. I'm so excited to eat. Good evening, good evening, nice to see you. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to my club. Yes, the serve table. Yes. Nice. It's all clear. There was bread. There it is. <laughs> but they are kindly bringing Carl, Deb, and I rolls from Moderno, the cheesy rolls. Cheesy. These are delicious. They're from the Brazilian steakhouse from Moderno. They're the Brazilian cheese bites. They're so yummy. Oh my, my, my. Look at that. That is the bacon. It is bacon. Big old bacon. It is. No, um, thank you. What's it called? It's. Uh, Pork belly? Uh, no, but it's like marinated in something delicious. Maple glaze. Maple glaze, that's it. That changes everything. I actually get tomatoes and grilled cheese. There is nothing wrong with that. Delicious. This is the part you There's Rob's shrimp cocktail. All right, there is my Caesar salad. It does have anchovies on it. But that is fine. We can pull those right off. But delicious, delicious looking. Look at the size of this ribeye. <clears throat> and a baked potato and potatoes all gratin. No veggies tonight, right? And Rob got a New York strip. New York strip. <laughs> Put a fork in me, I'm done. But here is the creme brulee. <laughs> Put a fork look, in me, I'm done. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to try this. It's raspberry creme brulee. And I'm not the biggest fan of creme brulee, but... <laughs> oh, that's delightful. That's really good. She's and they're bringing flourless chocolate cake, too. She's literally... I'm why telling did, you. Why did you order two desserts, neighbor? I'm broken. What is happening? I know. It's just... I'm broken. It's so it's so wrong to be right. But but look, now we have chocolate flourless cake. This is very, very rich. It's very delicious, very rich. This is outstanding. The creme brulee, the raspberry creme brulee. The fan of creme brulee, that is. That's all kinds of wonderful. Okay, well it is 9:10. We are headed to the theater. We're going to go see the magician. Maybe I'll look around and go. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to be able to record. But we'll, wow, what is going on? That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> now I can't record. I just showed you that. But here's the theater. Get here early, look at this crowd. This is just for a magic show. Yep. So make sure you get here early. We got here about 20 minutes early. So. Thank you so much, Fred. Ladies, check your freestyle for all the other activities later. The crew is a chance to see it. Can you
Can you hear the wind? It's really, really strong tonight. They have some of the decks closed. You can't, I mean, because the wind is so strong and the ship is rocking and rolling. They moved the deck party indoors mm -hmm. because of it. Yeah, the deck party is inside. I don't know if you can, our patio furniture's kind of blown around a bit. Back to the room to change batteries on my phone. So we're gonna head to the deck party very quickly, the yeah. 80s. I'm sorry? Camera, not phone. Oh, yes, to change the cam the battery in my camera. <laughs> Goodness. Um, we're going to head to the deck party in the atrium. Like Rob just said, they moved it from the uh, deck to the atrium because of the wind, because of the weather. So we're going to peek at that, and then we'll probably call it a night. So The Magician was a pretty good show. Yep. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, it was a pretty good show. You know, they did the card tricks and the straight jacket and um, sleight of hand, you know, that kind of thing. He oh, had a couple. Funny. Yeah, he was funny. He was cute. And he had um, a couple of tricks I hadn't seen before. Um, he has another show on Saturday. I'm not sure. We, I think we have dinner reservations Saturday night. But um, if we can, we'll make it back to that show. There's no recording, but uh, he says it is a different show. So that'll be fun. Alrighty, let's head to that deck, not deck party, but uh, atrium party. Party! If you still remember the 80s, I want to hear you make some noise, come on. is Jamaica yep. and we are in port from 9 to 5 and we will be in port uh, doing an island tour so who knows what tomorrow may bring there's going to be lots of opportunity for us to do pretty much whatever we want um, we're gonna be on a private tour so we'll see all of that tomorrow so I hope you had a great time please subscribe and like this video and stick around for more and we will see you tomorrow yep. thank you good night